Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Bellfire, and to, well, first of all, as you can see, the base has gotten some upgrades, especially the defenses, I've beefed them up, and I've officially upgraded one turret to tier 3. Sure, the rest of them only do 96, but the... Tier 3 turret does, like, um, I don't even know off the top of my head how much damage it deals. Here, when it fires again, we'll see. 7,200 damage. And its range is 72 blocks, so it's a sniper turret, obviously, but very powerful one. Also slightly obvious, but, um, I did manage to get s set up something. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, it says two out of nine ore extractors are offline. I currently have an ore extractor on, well, as you saw, I have an ore extractor on titanium, nickel, no, nickel, titanium, gold, um, Lithium, iron, copper, tin, and coal. Oh yeah, also I made some coal enrichers. So now the coal is just worth a lot more. So it produces more power when you use it, when you burn it. But the new ore I got is a little something I like. I call uh, biomass but as you can see right now I'm dealing with a little bit of a power issue so I'm currently working on making 100 power 100 uh, what are they called laser energy transmitters mk ones but um, Oh, also, I've moved my setup for this. I only inverted it. So, advanced power grid, 50 simplified, 50 basic, 25 ultimate. Okay. Well, I am going to let just... Okay. Let me see. So... 24 times 6 is 144. Okay. So 1. Not PCBs. Plates. This is what 100. Oh. Well. 144. 100. 44. And then, was it 25? 24 times 2 is 48. I have 58. Forty-eight. There we go. Oh, also, I don't know if you all have seen, but that's an organic lens. And the way you get organic lenses is perfect faceted eye compared to the pristine faceted eye. And then there's a massive faceted eye. This one, so the reason I've added so many more defenses, I don't know if it will be on this round of enemies, but there is a new wasp type which is kind it's it's absolutely massive like there's no mistaking it for any other type it's just massive and there's no way to get around that fact and it's taken me and my spider and an entire one of these 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six MK2 turrets. Took m me about a minute to kill it. That's with 96 damage, shooting every maybe half a second. Plus the spider bots, 10 damage, incredibly rapidly. Plus my 10 damage, also incredibly rapidly. But when I say these things are massive, I mean they're about the size of 10 or 12 no, maybe thir 30 wasps seems about right. Yeah, they're about the size of 30 wasps. So it is really fun. Don't worry, I'm going to work on the my gold situation. But first, I need to get more tin. I'm close to 200. I need 500 iron gears, though. And iron gears are here. I have 57. Let me check the back. In the back, we have... 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. Ah, a microphone. 99 and 100. Okay, so now we should have 300, 100, and then 110. Okay, good. Now I just need 100 more tin and I'll be ready to go. I currently have... Well, no. I need 200 more iron gears and also 100 more tin. I do wonder if there will be any of those massive ones. Uh, since seeing them, I am now kind of terrified because those are only the mid-level. They're essentially stage 2 enemies. The normal wasps are all stage 1. Those larger ones are stage 2. I don't even want to see the stage 3. Because, I mean, that just sounds terrifying. So, okay, 49 times 6 is 294, that's 10, yes, okay. I don't have any 10 in my inventory, so, one what? I will work on copper, actually. So, 50 times 6 is 300, okay. 100, boom, boom. This should be, that's 10, that 200, just one more hundred and I'll be set. But there's only five. And as soon as this one gets back, I'll be ready to go. And that is 10 plates. Okay, well, as soon as this one gets here, oh wait, no, I'm good. Am I good on tin plates? I think I said... No. That's right. I only need... And then... So that's that. Then I need to get... I just need a hundred more copper. But in the meantime... I'm going to hop over to here. And put in the 200 I have. Okay. And then I just need 100 copper wires, sure. Because copper wires also can be turned into PCBs. See? There we go. Oh, man. But also... Uh, the Spirebot has been coming in to charge more often. So I've just stocked it up on... Lithium coils. But... Um... <laughs> no new recipes. 
Oh, also, <laughs> on another hand, I think it was... No? Where was it? Here. The spider bot cannon and the spider bot particle rifle. I need four hive brain matter. Th 32 massive facetted eyes. And then tur two turret MK3s. Those are easy enough to craft. The turret MK3s take one turret MK2, two organic lenses, and then one alloyed machine block. I have the alloyed machine block set to auto craft right here. Well, this entire system right here is auto crafting. But why are you stepping through this system? Come on. Man. I think I said I needed 100 more copper, right? I'm on 32. But. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm. Like I've said already, I am just all over the place. Mainly because there's so much to do and only 30 minutes is... Well, I guess it's a good thing I have a Friday special coming up. But now... That is honestly kinda cool on how quickly it moves. But... is working on the experimental pods, which is fantastic. I just need to look at this. Nope. This. No. That. Yes, this. Okay. I'm slightly tempted to make two outputs. Yes, for each resource. Just to make it, the collection of it way quicker, but... I'm still debating whether I want to or not. And also, off camera, I made a toxic particle filter because I cannot be at the depth of biomass without having... I can't tell if you can see it, but I'll probably leave an arrow. Um, but... Down there is a drill currently working on getting biomass, and I added a whole bunch of organic cutting heads because those were just the easiest to make, and I was like, I really didn't want to put a whole lot of work because making a steel cutter head means I need to get, let me see, a steel cutter head requires low-grade steel bar. Currently, I have nothing to make a low-grade steel bar. That would be steel alloy smelt. Why haven't I made... Crafting. Seriously? What is this item? Are you serious? Well... Looks like I'm making a second out, but again. No, wait, this is like the third or fourth. Um, uh, boom. And I'm fine with MK1s with it. <sighs> I have no powers. So it says, great. Okay, well. I should be focusing on MK2s. I shouldn't be making the MK1s anymore. But. I do hope I can take you down to the mine. I can't think of words right now. Words can be difficult. Um, but I think that might be... That's the titanium. Oh. Ooh. Here. Kind of cool... I wish I could have gotten it with all three lines moving at the same exact time, but <sighs> unfortunately I can't right now, but and look at that, the nickel is going off. 
Really? Yeah, I need to increase my power transport system. But I'm slowly working on upgrading everything. But... Is there enough... Really? Not enough copper in there? But there has to be enough... Wait. Yes, I said I needed 300 copper. This is my last copper bar. And I think I need 100... At least 100 more iron gears. So copper is right here. Thirty four, so a hundred. Yeah, that should be good. Iron gears on the other hand. There's one. So I need three hundred and twenty not three hundred and ninety two, not twenty nine. Let me check back here. Uh iron gears. That is four hundred. Then Eight. There we go. All good. Okay. Now I can craft 100. Nope. Yes. Laser transmitters. Crafting. And right. That was 100. Yes. Okay. Now I can go start switching everything out quite efficiently. Oh, no. No. It's out of power. Why are you out of power? Why is my flashlight on? That should be... That should definitely be off. Okay, but... No, I don't want one of those organic lenses. I'll take a sapphire lens because those are way cheaper and easier to get. And you know what? Let me place it down a few blocks. There we go. The, orga the organic lenses are more renewable, but seriously. But one of the positives I found with the um, the bare build gun, it's way more efficient. So now let me go six down. Boom, boom. I. I honestly will let you have a crude organic lens, not a pure organic. Mainly because the crude ones are so much easier to get than the top tier. Another crude. So now why are there two right in a row? Well, I know I can get rid of that one and I should be able to get rid of that one. There we go. Now just need to keep on moving. Oh no. Oh man, I do not like falling that far of a distance, but um, you are getting powered back up, but basic. I just need to work on replacing all the lenses, which is fantastic. Well, also all the power transmitters, not just the lenses, but mainly the lenses. Because Gold Ore is, up, is out of power, which that should not be happening. 
that seriously sh That's actually some pretty bad news if the gold ore is out of power. That means Minox, and Minox mean very, very big problems. Um, let me go boom, then... And I've only used 10. Yeah, I may be a little bit wasteful with them, but at least it's for a good reason. It's for... Okay, well... The two like this... I don't know why I had it like that, but... Boom... Just keep on moving down the line. Why are you pointing at me? I built you! Well, I mean, um... The titanium is feeding off the energy of the gold, so I mean, that could be why it's running out of power, but that doesn't make sense, does it? But the titanium is good on power, so that's why I'm a little bit confused, because the titanium hasn't run out of power yet. But the gold... So, oof. Okay, let's try that again. Then, uh, boom. Boom. Then there, there, there. Boom. Boom. And boom. There we go. Problem is solved. And to top it off, I don't see any error messages about any of my ore extractors being offline. So does this mean that I have officially achieved a point where all my ore, ore extractors are perfectly powered. To be honest, probably not, but I'm going with <coughs> going with that. Ah. Okay, so getting up now will be a ch little bit of a chore, but still. Nonetheless doable. As long as you have a lot as long as you can just look at it from a different angle, you'll be fine. And why are there there mm, I hate these things. How damn this? My second question is, why was that one gold? Recharging. Oh, okay. Ooh, loading complete of which ore? Nickel. Let's see if we can beat it up. Its maximum speed is 10 meters a second, I think. And we pass our um, crystal deposit. There we go. Well, that's 
Let's get going. Well, I think we beat him. But just barely. Okay. But now, that would be a generator. There we go. 49 simplified. Okay, so. Let's hope my computer do doesn't start hating me. There we go. Finally, the calculator open. So I need 49 times 6 is 294. Okay, so 2. There's 2. And I actually. One what? I'm going to take you all to go see my um, biomass miner. But I wonder if those new ones are also going to come. Because if I'm not mistaken, it was a l very large wave, kind of like this one, actually. But I love the new turret because it reaches all the way over here. Its range is 72 blocks. Or meters, or whatever you want to call it. So it goes to very far. I'm just going to say that. But yeah, I'm going to show you the biomass now. But the only thing is, it is um, in the toxic caverns. Which, I tried to power it with pyrothermic generators. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Arthur is upgraded, I'm pretty sure, right? Arthur upgrade pack, yeah. But anyway, um, it's in the um, toxic caves, I think I said. Toxic, toxic biome is what I'm going to call it. I do need to increase the uh, mining heads on all these, though. Because it is kind of getting slow. The motors, not the heads. The, uh, the motors. Because currently they all have economy motors and economy cutting heads. Except for the um, one down here. Now where? There it is. Still mining. Which is a good sign. And if I'm not mistaken, there might be a shortcut over to towards it. Unfortunately, I have not made a way back up, up so... Oh. Ow. Lower ca caves. Then it's a... Uh Yep, left here. Okay, I will not be doing that because that hurts. I was expo expecting my character to be able to make that, but apparently not. Here we go. Almost fell again. Toxic Caverns. Four, ninety-three, ninety-three. Oh yeah, I died here once. Ninety-one, ninety-one, and a bunch of cutting heads. So But yeah, that's what it looks like with an here. That's what it looks like with an organic cutting head on it. But now, the fun part of getting all the way back up. 
Really? I had no clue there was no solar energy at this location. That's kind of obvious, Arthur. I really wish I could make the jetpack, to be honest. That would make my life so much easier right now. Oh! Think. Oh my gosh, I am really lucky. Or just really skilled, whichever one you want to go with. Now, which way is the way back up? I think it's like this. Right? Oh no! Ow. Then over here, maybe? Then here, and then there, and then, uh, no. I do not remember the entrance at all. But I feel like it's around here. Is it? No, it's not directly up. Is it? No, it can't be. So you know what? I am going to... The same thing the previous me had to do. Because I forgot to mark the end the exit. But let's land in a different spot. There we go. Yeah, that's currently the only way to get back. But recharging. Yes, you recharge, Arthur. Wait, don't tell me you're out of power. Oh, no. And that still... Mm, I love... I have a love-hate relationship with this turret. I love it because it's so powerful and amazing. I hate it because it takes up so much energy. But... That little excursion got us 100 more tin. But... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then let me just real quickly do 49 times 2, 98. Well, that should have been easy to figure out, but honestly, I'm not in the mood to do any math. Boom. Eight. There's that. So much biomass. Boom, boom, and boom, boom. Then type and yes. Okay. Oh wait, I might actually be able to show you one of the larger ones, unless of course. It doesn't come in this wave, but when one does show up, I will make sure to take a screenshot and post it in the next video. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe.